Well, when the registration was first introduced into Hart Mountain, uh, actually, uh, uh, after I read the thing, I really couldn't believe that they were asking, like, question 27 and 28. If it was up to that point, uh, I didn't see any problem with it. But uh, it was, I think, the heading was a statement of... Uh, Pack V for relief clearance or something like that. I don't remember exact wording, but uh, but the logo on top of that questionnaire was that of the Selective Service System. See, and uh, when 27 asked about, will you go into combat duty, whoever ordered? I thought it was very uh, stupid and uh, a very. Uh, uh, arrogant question to uh, ask of uh, us after we were uh, thrown out of our homes and put into these concentration camps without even uh, a word about our citizenship rights or civil rights or constitutional rights being restored. And then question 28 uh, was very uh, another very ambiguous and a very uh, senseless question because it said... Uh, uh, will you, uh, one of the phrases was, will you uh, forswear allegiance to the Emperor of Japan? And uh, something that we had never sworn em allegiance to the Emperor of Japan, and how can we forswear something we had never sworn to before? So uh, that didn't make sense. And then for the our parents to forswear allegiance to Japan, they were, that would have left them without a country. They would become stateless persons. So uh, it uh, really made me very angry just uh, reading that thing, and uh, that's when I got sort of involved into it.